Isabat University students have developed a robot and named it Isabel that will provide solutions in the education sector. Isabel can respond to humans promptly when given a task. The integration of robotics into the education system will equip innovators and youths with future skills. So this um, robot that we have launched right now, it's a humanoid robot, but it's a functional robot for multitasking. This robot has various capabilities. It can work as a, uh, in the service industry, service sector. It can also work as a, in the education sector as a resource person. Uh, like you know, see, it can act as an expert in any subject matter. Minister of State for Finance, Emos Lugolobi, has affirmed government support to the development of technology and artificial intelligence. For me, on behalf of government, I want to thank Isbat University, and more specifically Mr. Vagis Mudamatan, for this initiative, for helping Uganda to be on course and to remain on course of the revolution that we are experiencing today particularly in the areas of new technologies and innovation. I think we are, we are, we are, they are helping us to move along with others who are pacing at a very high rate and uh, for, to ensure that in terms of development, we are able to attain our aspiration of a GDP growth uh, to a level of half $500 billion. The Chancellor is about University, Fred Omach, called for economic development. This uh, product is not just a machine, but it is a symbol of our vision for the future to ensure that we do blending of what the human person can do and also what robotics and artificial intelligence can do. Our aim is to make Uganda a hub of higher education in East African sector. To congratulate Isbat University on this new innovation that they've brought into the market. See, this will open doors for several collaborations within East Africa, the rest of Africa, for the growth of, of this industry and the education sector. Irene Faith Nantongo, Aisha Musayi, UBC News. <laughs>